Thank you for joining me. Thank you for viewing my, my videos. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Continue to do so. And also hit that notification button so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. So hi guys. Um, how's your day going? I hope it's going good. My day's going good so far. I do uh, have something I haven't had in a while. Um, Kendra uh, from Candyland, she had beans on her show and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make me some beans. So um, these are like the Bushes baked beans and um, I think it's the um, brown sugar, honey, something like that. And then I put some uh, andouille sausage in there and some ground beef, some uh, onion and garlic and a little butter for flavor. And uh, I did like season the meat as well when I was uh, cooking it. And I also sauteed the onions with the meat as well before I added the, the beans on there. And then I let it set for a little bit so it can marinate with the flavors. So yeah, let's give it a whirl. It's been a while since I had this, so let's see. This is my honest try because I haven't tasted it at all. Very hot, it just came off the stove. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Pretty tasty. Mm. Really nice. I don't know how you guys have your um your baked beans, but comment below. Let me know how you guys make them. I've never had it with andouille sausage, but it's pretty good. It was just like leftovers from yesterday. I just sauteed it with the um, ground beef and the onions and stuff. Mm. Okay. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. My day is going good. The topic for today, I just want to discuss to you guys about <clears throat> anemia. Anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen to your body's tissue. <clears throat> and some of the <clears throat> some of the symptoms of anemia would be you feel tired a lot and weak, and um, you may suffer from like rapid heartbeat, headaches, shortness of breath, pale skin, leg cramps, and um, difficulty concentrating. Um, you can have mild cases, severe cases. It can be temporary or long-term. Um, and it also comes from a, a iron deficiency as well, which a lot of people um, present that with a pregnancy, which that's what I what happened to me. And um, you have to really watch your, your iron levels in that because, you know, you need that to uh, circulate your blood healthy and all that around your 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 uh, major organs in your body. And also when you're pregnant, you know, getting um, a supply of oxygen to your unborn um, child. So I just kind of wanted to talk about this a little bit because um, a lot of people don't understand um, when you're suffering from um, anemia, it's, it's, it's nothing to play with. And um, uh, I feel like a lot of people that don't understand um, some of the symptoms, they kind of like brush it under the rug and they may, you know, even make the person feel that has anemia, make the person feel like they're lazy or they're worthless or, you know, they're just putting on. And that's only because of lack of uh, knowledge. And so that's why I just wanted to come to you guys and, you know, just give you some of the symptoms and, you know, also some of the things that can help. And maybe we can be a little bit more understanding to those people that are suffering with, you know, different illnesses and things like that, because it's not easy to deal with um, anemia or, you know, different things like that. So, um, it's nothing to be ashamed of or anything like that, you know, but it's just, um, we just have to be proactive and try to take care of ourselves. Make sure we take our vitamins and iron pills and different things like that. So I have to take iron for the rest of my life. 
also a multivitamin and also I take B12. So the reason I'm, you know, talking about it is just to bring awareness um, to the people that or otherwise probably like silenced, you know. Some people feel like, you know, they don't want to say anything about it because they feel ashamed or, you know, things like that. And people think, oh, you know, they're sleeping or, you know, they're just being lazy or, you know. Um, and like I said, it also is like you have difficulty concentrating and different things like this. So you just have to be understanding towards other people. So... Let's go over some of the things that we can take to kind of help our our um, anemia. Um, you can eat chicken, beef, liver, turkey, um, red meats, <clears throat> seafood is good, cereal, oatmeal, lentils, beans like this, beans, spinach, and also iron supplements. So, yeah, those are just some of the things that we could, you know, take to um, help boost our immune system as well as, you know, our iron levels as well. Because, you know, once those levels get low, it's not good. That's when you really start feeling sick and all that. So, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and just kind of, you know, bring a little light, you know, to Sometimes people don't really understand um, what having anemia is about. It's real. It is a real thing. And um, with the lack of oxygen, you know, circulating around your body, I mean, that's pretty serious. So, you know, I just wanted to bring a little bit of awareness to those people that don't understand and just give you a little knowledge. So let's just be a little bit more understanding towards those people um, that have, you know, different issues and you may not understand. So I just wanted to help you guys out a little bit. And until next time, happy eating.